Okay guys, so next video, um, we're talking about the other piece of news that came out. So Sony is very hopeful that the characters they're doing, all those characters, could end up in the MCU. So they're making these movies with the mindset of, hey, if Disney wants them, please take them, help us out. So that's the, that's the uh, thing, right? Um, the, the reason that the whole Marvel deal happened with Sony and Disney was because Spider-Man had nowhere to go. We weren't going to just go watch another Spider-Man movie unless it was in the MCU. That's what everybody was clamoring about. So they finally came back and said, there you go. There's your, uh, there's what you want and it's going to work. But Sony has to still produce movies based on Spider-Man to keep that license. That's why there's such a quick turnaround. I think the rumor is it's every three and a half to four years they have to produce one. So we don't know if the MCU license falls into that. It probably does because it's just a partnership. But Spider-Man is a money-making character. There's over 900 characters that are tied to Spider-Man that is owned by Sony. So, you know, they want to make these movies, but they're not taking input from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So why would Disney want to accept it, right? There, there's no reason for them especially if you accept a couple and then what if they're terrible you know like that already sets a bad tone a bad precedent for them and especially that sony doesn't seem to know what they're doing with these because they keep going back to their drawing board with many of them so it's like uh that's kind of problematic in the long run because they're not they're planning ahead they're looking forward but they're not looking forward in the right way not the way marvel studios did they're doing it more like dc which is not what people want that's not what you want to be you know kind of compared to and when you think about it, it's like, if Venom is good, and it doesn't have Spider-Man, you could probably work that in there. It's very workable. It's going to take a little bit of stretching and changing, but that'll work. On the other hand, Silver Sable and Black Cat, both of those can work. Morbius can work. Craven can work. See, everything can work, building up to it. But inherently, if they're bad films, then you don't want those in there. And I think the problem we're going to run into is... You know, they're calling their world, you know, Sony's world with Marvel Comics and stuff. It's like, it's a weird thing because the moment you say it's not in the MCU, which everybody knows now, you're kind of losing a lot of interest. And don't get me wrong, Venom could end up being a great movie. That's fine. I'll take it. But once again, it's not part of the vision that Marvel has set. So you're kind of going back to, you know, drawing board on there. And Venom taking place, you know, San Francisco... If it's set in the MCU, then where's Scott Lang and Hank and everybody? Like, when's it take place? So you're just running into more problems that I don't think Marvel Studios wants to involve other people's problems and continuity errors into their own.